The weight of the hovercraft is unevenly spread, so they're threading the two rear straps directly through the cabin to balance the load for a level lift. Okay. With the strap secure, the crane takes the 75 ton strain. Rob must now put the machine into hover mode to stop it from sucking up water. With the skirt empty, they go for the lift. Okay, Chief, could take up slack, please. Just as they get going, they hit a glitch. Stop! Stop! You'll damage the cargo! The front straps are not long enough to keep the hovercraft level. There's a risk the machine could bend or snap in half. Let's get it down quickly. Chief, get him down, please. Can we get it, get it, can we get it down? Let's get it down. We need to add extra length to that front, uh, front lifting gear. Can we get another line down? We need a meter. Oh, 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 oh! They lengthen the straps. OK, Chief. And try again. Come up, come up. <laughs> this time, they have liftoff. You pull, nice and slowly. Gavin's got his eye on the weather. A gust could bash the hovercraft into the ship's hull as it descends. Front end. Bit more, bit more. Hold it in that position. Okay, Chief, you can lower down. Right, stop, stop. And that's it. Ah. That's, that's, that's what you call precise. That's, that's precision, that is. That. The hovercraft is ready to leave on time.